Welcome back to Groovy Yurt. Today we're going to talk a little bit about humidity issues and especially in winter. Yurts have been developed in Mongolia over thousands of years in a climate that's very cold and warm in the summer, but also very dry. They're using felt like my boots here, which is possibly one of the most beautiful material. It breathes, it insulates, it's natural. Uh, in our areas, we have more humidity. So we started uh, about 15 years ago using house wrap, a membrane that we placed between the canvas and the felt insulation here. And that will prevent the extra moisture that the canvas can't take to come into the yurt while allowing the yurt to breathe the vapor to go out. What we've started realizing in the past few years when more and more people started to live in their yurts is that, especially in winter, they would come with boots full of snow, they would cook, they would uh, sometimes heat with propane, producing a lot of humidity, a lot of vapor. That vapor will go through the felt, hit the cold, house wrap and condensate. It will freeze even and accumulate. So the house wrap doesn't breathe anymore. This way, um, you, we started having yurts that were dripping inside and we thought, well, the canvas is not doing its job. The water is coming, the, the, the snow is melting, coming inside. No, it is accumulation of humidity. And this can even happen when there's no snow, simply by having rain on top of the yurt that's cooling the surface enough to have the water condensate and drip back. So that water is coming from the interior, not from the exterior. So over the years we were using one type of house wrap. Last year we started trying another one and this year we've made a test of different qualities of wraps on this little tree wall yurt. And what we did, I ask you to follow me. What we did, we started boiling water over a few days when it was very cold, minus 24 Celsius, uh, very cold <laughs> in Fahrenheit as well. And we boiled uh, about a uh, hundred liter uh, of water, 20 gallon at least, to see where this water was going. We wanted to see would one of those house wrap work better than the other. And we wanted to see how this shirt was reacting. Well, we noticed very fast that one of the wraps that we were testing was doing a much better job than the others. It's actually a membrane that's made for roofs and it's quite a lot more expensive. But we realized that, it, that a lot of moisture was actually going out and wasn't trapped under that membrane. Even more so, the vapor was going to the way of least resistance. So instead of going where the bad house wrap was, it would go through the good house wrap. So all that water that we boiled did not even accumulate really in the felt, it did go out. So this is very good news. And that's leading us to change now our house wraps. We will put uh, a layer of a better membrane in the roof and we'll keep the old wrap for the walls. So we believe that this new solution will help people, especially those who are living in their yurt. If you do prefer, if you're on a budget, talk to us, make your own and make sure that when you produce humidity in winter, you ventilate the yurt, you open your tone or you open the door and you'll be fine. Happy yurting!